Hello everyone and welcome to Kiki Cuisine. I'm your host Joey Camasta. I'm so excited you're here to join me today. It's Taco Tuesday up in here. All my small friends are on the way over. I got a lot of cooking to do. Let's get started. The first step in our spicy chicken carnitas tacos is the chicken, obviously. So we're gonna take our chicken thighs. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs. If they don't have them at the store, ask the butcher to do it for you and they will at most places. Um, so you want to generally season this with salt and pepper. I'm using regular kosher salt. Nice amount of this. This is how you're going to get all your um, flavor and seasoning into your meat. Oh. So salt. And I'm taking ground black pepper. And just doing that on the other side there. Now for the chicken. I'm taking canola oil and putting on a heavy bottom Dutch oven. Just about a quarter of a cup of that. And then when this gets nice and hot, we're gonna sear off our chicken breast and get a nice brown crust on them. Now that our oil's heated, we're gonna enter our chicken thighs into the pan. And we're gonna get a nice brown sizzle on them. Now that our chicken thighs have been browned on one side, we're gonna flip them over and brown the other side. Okay, golden brown crust. Nice clean. A few more minutes on the other side and then we're on to the next step. Okay, next we're gonna have all the brown bits from our chicken in the pan and we're gonna deglaze the pan with some beer. That means kind of getting all the brown bits off the bottom. So we're gonna add some beer. Sizzle up. Next, we're gonna chop up the rest of our ingredients to go in with the chicken. We're gonna take one large onion and just dice it up and give it a rough chop. Cut it in half. And to remove the skins. I like to dice it is cut it vertically like this in three sections and then cut like that so kind of like cross hatching making little squares and then for the last step you just want to dice it like this and then you get even little squares which we call a dice see that it's a diced white onion Take that skin off. Make our vertical cuts. Cross hatch. Then dice. Oh, so now we have our onion. Next, we're going to take our oranges. Next for oranges, you want to get the zest off them. So I'm using my microplane here and just gently shaving off the zest. You don't want to go to the white part. You just want to take that bright orange rind off. That's going to give so much flavor to our carnitas. So I'm going to about two large oranges we're going to use, the juice and the skin.
we want to take our garlic. We want to take cold garlic cloves like that. We're going to probably put about six of them in there because we really want a lot of flavor. And all that I do with it, I take the back of my knife and smash it. And that gives a nice smushed version of it. And then you can just go ahead and dice it and it'll just melt right into whatever you're cooking in it. See another garlic clove. We're going to do about six. Give it a nice rough chop. Next, we're going to add our white onion to the pan and get that nice and softened. Now that our onion is softened, we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. Our garlic, our orange zest, and our jalapeno. Now our chicken thighs, our orange segments, and our star anise pods. We're going to cover with the remaining of the beer. And some orange juice. And that's what our liquid's going to braise in. So it's going to become nice and tender. Just a little orange juice. Now we're going to add our spices. Now it's time to add our spices. I added ground cumin. I added Mexican oregano. I added chili powder, adobo chili powder, which is really spicy. And that's it. So now we're going to stir this all together and put it into the oven at about 350 for a few hours until it gets really, really tender and the chicken starts falling apart from itself. And then we'll get to the next step after that. But yeah, so now we're going to cover it up and put it in the oven and we're all set. Okay, now it's time to prepare our chicken for our top. I have them in the oven. I'm going to take them out right now. Top girls, so make sure you're low. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. char our corn. So if you don't have an outdoor grill or you don't have an indoor grill pan and you want to get that charred flavor, I'm going to show you a little hack that I like to do. You just take an open flame like this um, on your stove top and then you take your corn with nothing on it, no oil or anything, and you just lay it right on top of the flames. And what's going to happen is it's going to start charring the outside of the corn so it tastes like it's been grilled or smoked, but it's not. So you're going to get that nice smoky flavor, but just from the top of your stove. It's a little trick I like to do. Okay. As you see, you have a nice charred color to it and you don't have to go outside. So it's perfect if you want to cook in the winter time or if you don't have access to a grill. Like I live in New York City, we don't have that. It does pop, so you want to stand back and wear your goggles. Now it's time to make my radish and corn salsa for my tacos. First, we're gonna start with the radishes. I wanna cut them into match, match sticks, pardon. So what I'm gonna do is take your uh, radish here and you just wanna cut it into rounds. Pretty thin, like that. Now once you have your rounds, let's wanna stack them up and then cut them vertically into little match sticks. and then you have nice matchsticks for your salsa. Next, we're gonna take our charred corn. Remember the, char the corn we did on the grill? Look how nice and beautiful you have the char. You wanna get all the kernels off this. So I stand it upright like this, and then go vertically down and cut all of your corn off the husks, or the cob. It comes off really easy with this sharp knife. Now we have our charred corn. Move that to the side. Next ingredient we're gonna use in our salsa is fresh cilantro. There's nothing like fresh cilantro. It's, um, a lot of people don't like cilantro, some people, but I don't like to talk to those people because they're weird. So 
If they don't like cilantro, then tell them to get out. Or you can substitute like chives with it if you want, but it's not the same. So you really need cilantro with this dish because it's what it calls for and it's the best. Truly Mexican, but yeah, if people don't like it, put chives in and give them a side eye. Now for a jalapeno, you want to be careful with this. You don't want it too spicy. So we're going to take out the seeds and the ribs inside of there. So you just take this with a little spoon and you're going to take out the seeds and the membrane. That's where all the spice and heat lives. So if you take that out, it won't be too spicy because you'll still get the kick of the jalapeno that you want. So you remove all those. Same thing here. And you want to make sure you wash your hands after you do this because if you touch your face or your private parts, they'll be on fire. And we don't need that in here. Okay, girl. So we get all our seeds out. And now we're ready to mince this up. So you want to cut this in thin strips. Like that. And then crossways this way and you get nice fine dice with it. You don't want a big chunk of salsa with um, jalapeno in it because then It'll burn your freaking mouth and then that's not cute. Time to assemble. We're gonna take our matchstick radishes, pop those in, our charred corn that we cut off the cob, our diced jalapeno for a little heat, and our fresh cilantro. Just put that all on there. Now you just wanna mix this all up and add the dressing. For the dressing, I'm just gonna squeeze the juice of one lime right over the top. And just a touch of olive oil to bring it all together. Some kosher salt, and that's it. You're just gonna mix this up and let it sit. The longer it sits, the better it gets with this salsa. So this is what's gonna top up our tacos and give it a nice crunch, freshness, a bite, a little heat. Everything we need in our tacos, we'll have in this one little salsa. Okay? So now after I've burned my friggin' hand, it's time to remove our aromatics from our chicken. So that was our orange peels, our star anise, and all those chunky things. So we're taking out our orange peels. Our star anise, because those are chunky and like wood chips. You don't want to bite down on that. And anything else that doesn't look like chicken. Because you're going to shred this up after. Oh, now that I took all my aromatics and peels and crap out of there, we're going to shred two forks like this. And you're going to go in and just rake everything apart. And at this point, it's going to fall off. Um, it should fall apart. If you had bones on it, it would uh, fall off the bone, but this is boneless. So we're just shredding it up, girl, and getting a nice texture. You want to keep a little bit of chunk to it because you don't want it to be like, you know, too mushy. You want a little texture. So just don't go too crazy, but just shred it on up, girl. Oh, girl. Just keep on shredding and picking out any. What the hell? How'd that get in there? Oh, well. I like it spicy. Girl, I need a break and a drink. Oh, what are tacos without margaritas? Okay, girl. So I'm gonna take a little break and make a kiki margarita. Oh, so I'm gonna start with some ice cubes. Oh, some tequila. This one is Raspado. It's fancy. I don't know. I'm gonna open it. Mm. Little dabble, do ya? Oh. A little triple sack of orange flavored liqueur. Just a splash of this. I don't want to interfere with me getting drunk. The juice of a fresh lime. So I'm going to take a whole lime and squeeze it in. Oh, one more. And then one last ingredient I'm going to add after this lime juice is I want to make it a kiki margarita, not just a regular one. So I'm going to kick it up a notch with some jalapeno and make a jalapeno margarita. So it's sweet, spicy. I chopped up a jalapeno there with seeds and ribs removed. Just throw that in there. Oh, you're gonna shake this. Oh, I have to add ice to my glass. Sorry, girl. It's in there. I have a mason jar, so it looks cute. And you shake. Oh, and now you strain it over ice. 
and the spicy margarita. It's ready. Girl, I needed this break. Cheers. Oh. <coughs> and now it's time to assemble our tacos. First, you want to take some corn tortillas that I've warmed in the oven. And I use two so they're nice and pliable so it won't break through. Take your spicy chicken carnitas. Nice, generous helping through there. And then we're going to add our radish corn salsa. Just a little of this. That's going to give that freshness, the sweetness, crunch, and yumminess to it. I like to take a little dollop of daisy, girl, a little sour cream right on top. I love sour cream. That's going to cool everything down that's really spicy. And then a little more refreshed cilantro to garnish. And then a wedge of lime just to give a little bit more brightness and flavor. And that's it. I'm going to call my squirrel friends and we're about to chow down, girl. Oh. Kiki is immensely. My squirrel friends are here. We're about to chow down on these tacos. Everyone take a bite. See how it is. Love wins. You like it? Oh, well, cheers, girl. Oh. Another successful Kiki. Thank you for joining me on Kiki Cuisine. We'll see you next time. Girl, bye. Oh,